Hey everybody, welcome back to an on the road edition of All RC Fun. Today we're going to try to do this while I am traveling for the way I fund my hobby. And we'll look at some light controllers. Um, gonna look at the MyTrick RC UF7C. Uh, he recently came out with UF7R. I have not tested that one out yet. And then might take a look at the SCX24 MyTrick RC kit for the Jeep. I think it's the JLU. And I brought a couple other items. If we get a chance, take a look at uh, some different light strips as well as some some other options. So just want to kind of run through those. And again, uh, this is the on the road edition. All right, so let me get you put over onto the other stand so we can take a look at these lights. All right, so we're back over here at the bench. And first thing is organization. Love the cow RC screw catcher mat. It's really good for pins and other things. And the other thing I have to do with lights is always be organized. I'm just having all the accessories with me that I might need, you know, batteries, other light controllers, wires, uh, tools. Got more tools, crimpers, needle nose, get your wire strippers, just all the the various things that I need whenever I'm doing lights. Um, one little trick or hack, sorry about the noise that I've done, is on my rock crawlers, if I want to add lights, I'll just take a, uh, the cover off of like my TRX-4 and just drill a little hole in it, just enough to fit a light in, and then I can shoot goo the light in and stick this back on, and then I got a very inexpensive set of uh, rock lights. I've done that with some of my, my police trucks. So. And then tape, zip ties. Uh, you know, for me I have lots of different bulbs that are just all done, uh, all undone that I need to do up. Um, more bulbs. And then I also get some that are pre-made with the resistors already on them. So you can see the resistors right there. These I think were Evan Evan Designs, fast red and blue, and they already come with the resistor on there, so I don't have to do those calculations. But the other part is the, the this controller from Lane Boys RC is regulated to I think it's 20 milliamps, so I don't have to put any regulator on it. I can just go straight wire to these pads. Uh, so that's First, first thing I do, just try to be organized, and then uh, you know, grab out the kit. So this is the MyTrick RC, the fire truck body kit, deluxe, and all of the, the components that go with it. Uh, in here we have the UF7C. Pardon the noise for just a minute. This one is for a future build. And so we got the UF7C. It has uh, the pigtail that will go to the light bar. And then um, each of these A, B, C, D, E, and F have a different function based on what mode you're in. You have this set of pins is for your motor and two is for your steering. So if the functions you have use those and then other lights. So this is the UF7C and so let's see, A will be your tail lights and your your strobe A. The B is your tail and brake lights. This is a second strobe and then the pigtail your light bar and then strobe B headlights and strobe A. Different modes, those become different things, but for the emergency kit, that's what it is. I have my Porsche 911 GT1 that I've been working on that we can use as our example car. And so what I'll do is unwind these and plug them in just so we can see how, how it'll work. Another cool thing about the the mat, if I can remember, I had to consolidate my toolkit while I was on the road. 
There they are. Just have some magnets for when I create uh, my lanyards, and these will help me hold my lights in place as I position them. So we need a Y harness, excuse me. And I forgot what this one does. Oh, that's right, this one doesn't have, um, so I won't have, this is a direct wire uh, out of my SX103 Gladiator. So it won't have the uh, the brake lights working just because the motor's directional. I don't think I have a sense wire, but all right. And then we'll plug this in to there. So then we'll get our power back to uh, from the car. Show the turn signals, and then that is one is usually turn, but in this case it'll be the opposite. And on this, uh, black goes on top. That is shown right here. So black wire is to the top on this kit. And then it says one is strobe A. Get that out of the way. So this will be single light. Over there, that's a difference. Right. What else we have going on here? We should have another light. All right, and we'll be right back. All right, so we're back, and what I've done is uh, taken the two white headlights, plugged those into port E taken two brake lights and plug, plug those into port B and those are down here and then I took A which is one of the strobes and split them took D which is a different fast strobe and split them so they're not both flashing in the front you have them flashing front back and then uh, put one in F which is a slow strobe again split them and then put one in C and split them and then you can use it with or without uh, the light bar. So we'll start off without it. Let me get my transmitter on. Make sure I've selected the right model. This will be the Porsche 911. It is selected. And I don't have a signal on, so it will just have to be always on. And so that, uh, there it is, it is on, and that's the different modes that you have with this model. So, UF7C, and it's the UF7, and the UF7C. And uh, the uh, manual you can print from the MyTrick RC website goes through all this with you, goes through all of the different settings, but then it has all the blink modes. And so when you push the mode button, now you have more of a, a watercraft, a bunch of burning lights, and then two, I believe this is basher crawler mode, and it will do like hazard lights and brakes if you have the motor hooked up. And then I think another crawler mode. We have a car mode. So if you actually wanted turn signals, then those would be your turn signal uh, components. And then this one would be a different car. Uh, so the turn signals are normally dim, and then they light up whenever you turn. And there's a difference between kind of uh, car one and car two, and those are modes four and five, and then they have a drift mode. And I don't have the motor hooked up, so it won't work, but it means it's gonna have like a, uh, what do you call it? Backfire um, would work on there. And so in the drift mode, you have the reverse is off, tails and brakes are dim, backfire's off. 
then your running lights are dim, headlights are on, and then the center brake is off. And then as soon as I hit it for the next mode, that'll take you to mode 7. And that is more of the, uh, this one with the CHP utility mode. So you end up with a uh, fast, fast strobe, fast strobe, turn off the light. And then kind of a slow back and forth, back and forth. So fast, 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 and then slow, 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 slow. And it's getting the signal from the turn as to whether to work or not. And we turn to the next mode, which is a different uh, fire, fire truck police mode here in mode eight. Go to the next one, and that is mode nine, which looks like an aircraft. Let's turn the page and find out if it is. And that's a uh, aircraft one. You have a slow strobe, fuselage strobe. Uh, you have a gun LED, wing strobes, nav lights, and then your landing lights, which are normally off. And then one more of the mode button, and that gets you to. Uh, aircraft 2 or mode 10 and that's where the slow strobes are on fuselage strobe is on the gun LEDs off wing strobes are on landing lights are on and the nav lights are on and so if you had this up to an aux channel you could actually control that with something other than the steering that's just how I'm controlling it and uh, the next one is actually mode 11, which is a fighter jet option. So if you have a static model, they would have those kinds of things. Um, so yeah, it has um, slow strobe, fuselage strobe, nav lights, wings on, landing lights are off, and then your nav lights are on. Got mode 12, which is a warbird. So you can imagine you, know, you got your uh, your green and um, your wing strobes and stuff if you're into planes. And then got a mode 13, which is for trailering. And then mode zero, which is off. So I use it like uh, I think mode six. There we go. And so that's all your different modes that you have seven C. Now turn the power off. And on top of all of that, then you have the MyTrick RC light bar. This is um, all red. And it has a mode button here underneath. And on that mode button, you then can cycle through all the different modes of the light bar in addition to all the things that I just showed you. So it's got um, you know, whichever way you want to orient it, if you want to do the, the white in front or the, the red in front, and then it'll cycle through them all, or you can select. So that's one click, two clicks, kind of goes, uh, radiates out, three clicks, call that disco, four clicks, Five clicks, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. Twelve. 
13. I think we're repeating now, but you get the idea. It's uh, a lot of fun. You can have a lot of customizations and how you want to do it. Uh, and like I said, how I have that hooked up to the steering. If you had that hooked up to an aux channel, then you could turn it on remotely and then turn it off remotely. So that is it for that one. Let me get the lights back on. All right, so that was the Mitric RC fire kit and with all the various modes for airplanes, fire trucks, police cars. This is the 114th scale for the, uh, I guess, Lisu, L-E-S-U. Uh, it also works great on, like, the Grand Hauler and things that are that. So that's the Mitric RC 110th scale versus this one, which is more of a 114th. But it's got a lot of programs just built into that, so I've got this on my uh, DX5 rugged G so I double click and then if I go was it every time I double click it changes patterns Got a lot more uh, functionality and a lot smaller. Like this would look great on, like uh, this is a yeah, SCX24. So you can see that would that would fit pretty good on there. If I could actually get it to stay, but I'm not mounting it right now. All right, got it. Come on, work with me here. And then uh, it also has three three brightness options. So if I go off, you see it's dimmer there, brighter, and then brightest. And then you can go through all the modes within that still. And, you know, it's got it's bright. So if I go off, it gets you back to where it's something that doesn't completely blind you. Change the rotation pattern. And they make these in uh, red, yellow, blue, and then a red blue. I have never tried to use this with the Mitric RC controller. Um, don't know that I would try. I'd probably just go ahead and grab an extra channel. So that is the Lisu model. Yeah, I like lights. All right, I'll be right back. So the other the one I've done, there's a, another video more detailed, is the the small CX-1 Mitric RC light kit, which comes with uh, your brake lights, your high intensity headlights, and then it has your running lights as well. And it's a, it's a very bright operation. I'm going to turn on that remote, plug this one in, give it a look. quite quite a, a powerful look there and there's no um, the turn signals aren't hooked up again because it's more of a, a crawler look than uh, scale around the, uh, the car park Steering is reversed. 
my four-year-old must have been playing with this. That, that helps. Okay. So that is uh, that kit. And then one of the other things that I've uh, looked at from time to time are little fiber optic kits. And it's not so much that it's, uh, you know, like true fiber optic, but it is uh, an end glow. So what you do is you take uh, an LED light, put it in one of these little sleeves, shrink it into place, and then the tip of it will light up so for dashboards or any other various uh, glow that you're looking for in the vehicle. And then you just start making up your own stuff and, uh, and going from there, learning how to use uh, crimping tools. And it just it goes on from, from there and you get your, your common sense kit. And then there's the My Trick RC kit. You have light bars, and then you just end up with, with extra lights and parts and pieces. Um, but it's one of the things that I do enjoy about the hobby is all the various customizations that can be done. And my little area happens to be uh, I like I like to do lights. Uh, even got some some light strips there from my Trick RC. Uh, very very bright. Uh, haven't figured out what I want to do with those yet, but extremely powerful. So uh, anyways, that's kind of a look at the lights. Let me get you put back onto the other stand so I can close this one out. All right, so that's a look at the, some of the various light kits I like to use. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them below. If uh, you like what you're seeing, subscribe to get more. Give me a thumbs up, and uh, I'll see you on the next On the Road with All RC Fun. Have a great day.